Hello and welcome to Grass or Global Renoscope. My name is John Tisavari. And um, you know, when I was a kid and I saw astro images, pictures like this, actually they were black and white and they were, you know, not quite as detailed, my imagination would go crazy. And I, I really never lost that. I'm an astro imager, I have my own setup, but recently I found the Global Renoscope system where I have access to, for instance, this Richie Chrétien. Uh, 12 and a half inch scope which I could personally never afford but always wanted to image through and a, any number of other wonderful scopes different focal lengths formats it's an ideal situation for someone like me um, but more than that it most of the hard work's done for me I don't have to drive anywhere I don't have to set up all my gear or break it down at four in the morning after a long night of imaging first we'll go to the global radoscope webpage this is where you sign up uh, click on buy time and by the way, you can review the different scopes by hovering your mouse over these buttons and get an idea of the inventory. Um, you also get a little better idea of the membership plans, but first let's just start by buying ourselves a block of 100 points. Click on the PayPal button and then enter in a quantity of however many you want to buy. The minimum is 100. Log in to your account and next thing you know, you'll be presented with an email and that email will give you a link to download the Grass Info Center and it'll have your username and your password and then if you click on this link you can download the Grass Info Center and that's the interface or the portal to the entire network and once you've installed Grass Info Center open it up you're presented with uh, this first page here this is a map of the world and you can see nighttime is represented in a darker shade and daytime. Now we've got three stars. These are representing the observatory locations. You'll notice that you can image 24 hours a day. Um, but the first thing we're going to want to do, we're going to image in New Mexico, so we're going to want to check the weather. A quick look here, I see stars, that's a good sign. But since we're ready to image, let's uh, go ahead and click on System 14. Now this system is a wide field imaging observatory and I want to image Andromeda Galaxy which is a very large object and really well suited for this observatory. Now let's uh, log into GRASS 14. That brings us to the uh, web page for controlling this observatory for taking the images. So I'm going to click on regular mode. This is what you want to do when you're first starting out. It's uh, simpler interface for imaging and in a few seconds it will log in and load up. And here we are in the G14 page and you can see there's a preview image. This is probably the last image that was taken and some other information, some other feedback. First thing we want to do is pick our target. I'm going to click on single image and here we have a chance to enter our target name and I'm going to choose Andromeda Galaxy. This is a, a great target for this particular system. Now this shows us that we were successful and it automatically entered the coordinates, right ascension and declination. That's where in the sky our target is. I'm going to choose 300 seconds to expose. And the luminance filter is what I want. Now that's like a clear filter. It's not quite a clear filter, but it's very similar. Autofocus, I want that checked on. Press acquire image. This is our sign of success. System status. Back to this page here. Again, the preview image. We haven't taken anything yet, so it hasn't changed. But if I scroll down, I can see that something's happening. This is blinking slew, and my coordinates are changing. That means a telescope is moving to point to the target. We'll see this orange bar progressing. This is the length of exposure here is 300 seconds almost there just a few more seconds and momentarily the uh, imaging portion will be done and it's now downloading the image from the camera to the local observatory computer oh there's our image look at that that looks beautiful and here we go the observing run is completed and if you click on the small preview image it'll bring up a much larger one this could take a little while to download because it's a pretty big file but you get a pretty good idea. Now you can see some noise in there. Not all of those little dots are stars. Some of them are camera noise, and I will show you how to reduce that. 
Yeah, there's our picture. That's fantastic. Okay, so let's go download that image. Now, after you've completed imaging, it'll be necessary to download the images to your own computer so that you can process them. So I'm going to click on FTP server in the Grass Info Center, and that will start a window, an FTP window. Now I'll go to my particular folder, and here is the image that I just took. So I'm going to download this, right-click, copy to folder, and I'm going to copy it, okay, and here we go. And while that's downloading, I'm going to select my calibration frames. As mentioned, that extra noise from the camera needs to be removed. And in order to do that, I will go to the calibration folder for G14, and I will pick a few appropriate calibration frames. Now in this case I need a dark frame that's 300 seconds long at bin 1, so I got that, and I need a luminance flat. Any exposure time is fine, so I've grabbed those two and I'm going to copy them, the calibration frames, and there we go. So we're almost there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is start CCD stack so that I can begin to process the image, remove the noise, and make it look right, and uh, make it beautiful so I can show it to others. And first we'll bring up the image that we just downloaded and decompress. And what I'd like to do is click on DDP and then press Auto Scale. That's going to give me a pretty good idea of what this image looks like. And you can see this is actually quite nice. Now if I were to zoom in real far, you can start to see some of that camera noise. And one of the reasons that we have to take this image into a special software, as I mentioned before, we're going to want to remove this, all these defects. And it's pretty easy to do. We downloaded those calibration frames, apply them to this image. And so I'm just going to go to the directory where I downloaded this at. and. Once I've chosen the correct files, uh, the appropriate dark file and the appropriate flat file, click on Apply, and it's finished its calculations. Now if I zoom in real close, you can see a lot less of that noise than there was before. And going a little dim, I want to make sure that nothing is overexposed, that the, nothing is clipped in the whites. And I'm going to save this as a TIFF file scaled, 16-bit TIFF scaled. And the next thing I'll do is open up Photoshop. And here I am in Photoshop. Let's open that file up. temp.tiff. And here we are. Okay, so I'm liking the image. Again, I want to bring out more detail without blowing out the core of the galaxy. And I'm going to use the Curve tool to do that. Image, Adjustments, Curves. And you can see here, if I raise the curve or lower the curve, it changes the image in a non-linear fashion. Now, I like how this looks. Now, if we look at the overall image, yeah, that's looking a lot better to me. And I'd say that's presentable. What we've done is we've brought out a little more of the galaxy. We've made our background nice and dark, but not too dark, because you don't want it to look like it's just pure black. Night sky doesn't look like that either. And we also have kept a nice level of detail around the core, the brighter part of the galaxy. So now I'm going to save this. Well, I think that looks really good. It's worthy of emailing to at least uh, a couple of people to take a look at. If I wanted to get higher quality picture, I would take a series of exposures. Now, this is a good exposure time for Andromeda, 300 seconds, but I'd probably want to take five or six or seven or more exposures and stack them together. And I could also take exposures through red, green, and blue filters, and I would end up with a full color image like this one. All the scopes allow me to do that in one form or another. I want to thank you and I want to welcome you to come try out grass. It's been a great experience for me and I know you'll love it too.